so on a personal level, how satisfied are you with your life? Wow, I didn't think I've had that question. Exactly. I know, I'm trying to break the script a little bit here for just a second. You know what? I'm I'm so happy. You know, I, I often have those kind of pinch me moments where I think if I died tomorrow, I would be really unbelievably proud of myself um, for all that I've achieved, not, you know, just in my career, but for what I have stood for and what I stand for in my business and what I advocate for and how I help people every day with their jobs. And, you know, I worked in an industry for seven years selling people things they don't need. And that was tough. Like I always knew I wanted to work in purpose-led communications. It's really hard to find that if you work in ad agencies, like it really is. I think the only way you can really satisfied, you can only really feel fulfilled is building your own purpose-led business because you will always be, you know, following the rules of a client or, you know, dictated by budgets or a business. But when you run your own business, anything goes and that autonomy and freedom. And the fact that it's all me is irreplaceable. You know, I I could never go back full-time. I don't think anymore. I, I think it's, I've built something that has, has really changed people's lives. And, you know, when people ask me what my proudest achievements are with my career or my business, I, I, you know, there are loads of things. I made the Forbes under 30 list. I wrote a book at 27. You know, I I did so many great things so early on. But actually, it's like when I run an event in London and, you know, I run an event on navigating pay and asking for salaries. And the next day I was very near the event venue and someone tapped my shoulder and said, I was at your event last night and I've already asked my boss for a pay rise. And I just like, I can't thank you enough. Like, thank you for changing my outlook and, and my future. And, and I cried like in the shop, you know, like I, that for me is, is that instantaneous, um, not just validation, but that you're seeing those results. Like, I, you know, a lot of us work so hard and don't get to see that immediate impact. And I am just so grateful that I don't have to wait 20 years to see the impact I'm making. I don't need to wait until I get awarded something to know that I am positively changing people's lives and I am opening up opportunities and breaking down barriers for people all over the world. And and for me, yeah, like I say, I feel blessed and I have so much gratitude for anyone that has helped me on this journey to get to this point. Um, But most of all, I'm, I'm beyond proud of myself because actually none of this would have happened without me and you know you can talk about oh lucky person right time right place zeitgeist all of those things but it all comes from the individual that makes that happen and and I am that that person that's made this happen yes definitely definitely you know and it's it's great that you mentioned the transition specifically because that's a thought that has occurred to me many times Bill Hicks was a comedian that lived in the U.S. very cynical comedian back in the I think 80s or 90s but he has a little bit he had a bit where he would ask people, is anybody in the audience here in advertising or in marketing? Some people would raise their hand and say, okay, great, kill yourselves. Make the world a better place. Because there is, you know, people who believe in the planet, who believe in, let's say, positive things that aren't destroying our world. There is always a tension between advertisers pushing more crap on people, plastic crap, harmful crap, polluting crap, all of this kind of stuff. So it's interesting that you have noted that change. Do you feel uh, that your own life, that, that do you look back on the time in advertising and think that I could never do that again? I mean, obviously you develop the skills. Don't get me wrong. Like the skills are critical towards, you know, building a mission of value. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do. I come from a marketing background. I'm trying to think, how can I amplify better messages instead of just helping somebody sell more shit? Do you think differently about your work in that time now? It's a that's a really good question. And and I think I actually don't think I've had that question put to me. I don't think differently because I knew it was never settling with me well anyway in, in that moment. So when I was at university, I wrote a blog on advertising. Again, it was it was terrible and it's hidden in the depths of the internet so no one can find it. But it almost immediately what I realized was the things that I was were blogging were were purpose-led communications. I, I knew from graduating that I wanted to work on advertising that would change the world. And I tried to move, ev- I moved six 
I moved to six different jobs in seven years. And every time I was searching for that fulfillment of maybe I'll work on a bigger brand that's going to get the opportunity to give back to the world, or maybe I'll get part of that, or, you know, and I would say in my very final, the last agency I worked for was a purpose-led agency. Um, you know, it worked specifically on really important campaigns and messages. So I would say I kind of got there, but I also know that, you know, it's it all it's a business and you, it only is as charitable and, uh, you know, purpose-led as it, as it can be because there are multiple parts to a business. Yes. And that's not throwing any shade to any companies I've ever worked at, but I knew from the outset something didn't sit with me with selling the things I was selling or the types of work I was working on. Um, not to say that the experiences I had weren't unbelievable. You know, I shot TV ads on beaches in LA. I've been mm. to whiskey distilleries in Scotland. I have done some incredible work and stuff that I'm, I am proud of the output, but I'm not sure I was ever happy with the situation, which is why I kept leaving and I kept moving jobs. And it was only until I built my own business did I find that sense of fulfillment. So I wouldn't go back. I'm not regretful or embarrassed of the work that I did because generally the work that I worked on, you know, was, wasn't bad. You know, I wasn't selling cigarettes to people. I wasn't telling people to gamble. There wasn't, I didn't have terrible clients, but I definitely know the fulfillment came once I, I stepped away and built my own, my own brand and stopped selling people, other people's ideas when I had my own that were worthy to be worthy enough to be sold. Very well said. I completely agree with everything that you just said. 